Los Angeles Department of Transportation. I want to let you know how the city is updating the way we evaluate how transportation relates to new development to improve mobility, how we get around town, and our quality of life. Transportation technology changes quickly. New ride-sharing services like Uber and Lyft have changed the way people get around Los Angeles. In November 2016, we voted to invest $120 billion in comprehensive new transportation choices, which will continue to evolve how we use our streets. Our city's analysis and regulations must evolve too. That means understanding how people travel is just as important as building infrastructure and fixing potholes. LADOT is adopting new methods to better evaluate the effects of new development on neighborhoods. Changes include monitoring to ensure mitigation measures are effective and identifying quality, context-sensitive solutions that go beyond just new traffic signals. We are improving our transportation analysis methods to achieve environmental protection goals shared by the city, county, and state, and to also reflect what people care about in their neighborhoods and their city. 14, 13, 12, 1, We know the ways we currently study traffic in Los Angeles can result in outcomes that are out of step with our vision for growth and neighborhood quality. The existing approach conflicts with our complete streets policy and community values. We also know it doesn't work. We can't build our way out of congestion. By evaluating impacts based on driver delay, we prioritize the number of cars that can move through an intersection over everybody else. We tend to attempt to fix congestion by widening the street to increase vehicular throughput. We now know that widening a road actually leads to more congestion. It also creates wide, fast streets that can be less safe and less comfortable for everyone, no matter how they travel. Our old way of doing things, which focused almost entirely on local intersections, overlooks how new development can add long distance trips to our streets. In other words, it was easier and less expensive for developers to build projects far away from the city center because they had fewer local impacts, even if the project added lots of new long distance trips for people to access jobs and education. Measuring the vehicle miles traveled which is the amount of driving and length of vehicle trips generated by land use projects, allows us to account for the efficiency of the location, how much the development reinforces other travel choices besides driving alone, or how it improves access to common destinations through proximity to transit, jobs, and neighborhood services. So why are we looking at this now? We are coming to terms with the fact that we cannot widen streets or build new roads to get rid of congestion. Previous attempts to do so, like the 405 freeway widening, made traffic worse and increased people's travel times. Now is the time to better link together land use and transportation decisions to bring Angelinos closer to their destinations, foster economic growth, environmental sustainability, safety, and local business prosperity. We want to make sure that new development strengthens our neighborhoods and our travel choices and doesn't trap people with long commutes and no options. Our update to the city's transportation review methods supports revisions to the California Environmental Quality Act guidelines, which comply with the state's mandate to evaluate the vehicle miles traveled of land use projects. State guidance tasks cities to replace de delay-based vehicle level of service with vehicle miles traveled per capita as an impact criteria under CEQA. Evaluating vehicle miles traveled helps complete the transportation puzzle by offering a more complete picture of how land use affects our transportation system. We will always continue to evaluate transportation impacts from a safety and access perspective at the local level. We can now match the right analysis tool to the right question. By focusing on VMT, we can better relate the choices we make during project evaluation to the outcomes that people care about. We can improve mobility by assessing projects based on total travel distance, encouraging development near transit, and promoting more travel choices. This way, our California Environmental Quality Act process advances our city sustainability goals, reflected in our Mobility Plan 2035, the City's Sustainable City Plan, and the Mayor's Vision Zero and Great Streets initiatives. We're updating the way we look at transportation and new development to make our streets safe, 
give people choices for how they get around. Be more sustainable and resilient and improve your quality of life.